Shalom, this is Yair Davidi. I'm speaking to you from Jerusalem, the coming of Israel. I'm speaking to you on behalf of Brit Am, Hebrew Nations, and we are continuing the discussion of the Lost Ten Tribes because uh, the lot, this is important, this is uh, this question involves the destiny of people in the West today. It involves the destiny of people in the USA, people in Canada, Australia, New Zealand. The British Isles, including Ireland, Northern Europe, Western Europe, and other areas. This is a very important question, and this is what we are occupied with. We are occupied with proving the whereabouts of the Lost Ten Tribes, and the Lost Ten Tribes are amongst those nations. And uh, we uh, bring uh, this to the attention of the public, we research it. And we also work towards the reconciliation of Judah, that is the Jewish people, and the Ten Tribes of Israel, that is the people's who are now to be found amongst Western peoples. And we have said that the reason why the Ten Tribes were exiled, the ex Ten Tribes were exiled. First of all, they were exiled. This has been proven. It's been proven. That's what the Bible says. It's been proven from the Bible. It's been proven from the sages, the rabbinical sages. It's also been proven by archaeology. The Ten Tribes were exiled. They did disappear. They lost consciousness of their ancestry. And they did move to the West. They are now to be found amongst Western peoples. And we have explained that this was in order that they should uh, descend to the level of the Gentiles to some degree and then uh, evolve upwards and bring the rest of the world with them. This was what we can imply, what, what is implied in, uh, in different sources concerning them. And this is indeed what happened. The question, so the question may be asked, did they really do it? We're now ending, reaching the end of time, as there are indications in, to that effect. We are reaching the, the Messianic Age, or just before the Messianic Age. Things are about to change. God forbid there may be a time of tribulation, there may be a time of troubles, the worries of, a, of a disasters may come upon us, and may not. We will see, but uh, this is, uh, these, are, uh, this is, these are very vital moments in the life of our, of our nations. And so, we may say that this, to some degree one stage has already reached its end. And things are about to change, they're about to change in another direction, as the prophecy indicates. So the question comes up, did the ten tribes in their period of evolution, in their period of development, historical development, from primitive tribes, such as uh, we, from the Iron Ages all the way through the medieval times up until the modern era, did they achieve what they were supposed to do? So we are not privy to the secrets of, of the Almighty. We don't know what they could have done or what could have been done or what really was expected of them. But we can apply human values, human standards. We can say everything could have been better than it was. But nevertheless, much was achieved. Much was uh, done by human levels of expectation. They did do a great deal. And one can say that they did satisfy the bill that was set for them. The world has gone forward. Humanity has advanced. Technology, technology has advanced. Everyone will admit to that. Together with technology, there has developed a, a consciousness amongst human beings as to basic human rights, as to basic ways of behavior that previously did not exist or if it did exist it was not universally accepted it was only rarely applied now it is universally accepted more or less to some degree or other and in many areas it is, attempts are made to apply it despite everything most people are materially better off than their ancestors were and also there's been a moral uplifting and there's great there's been the greatest respect for other people amongst a good uh, portion, most of the time, amongst a good portion of humanity. The opportunity was the, there, and uh, it was used, and the humanity has gone forward. Not that long ago, a few centuries ago, which is not that much in, human, in terms of history, uh, nearly everyone in the world was a virtual slave or serf belonging to a master. There were only a few at the top. All the history books that we read and the, the romantic... Uh, movies and so on about the ancient times, about the times not far away, they are usually involved with the upper classes. Or they give you a romanticized 
picture of the of the lower levels of society. It wasn't that necessarily like that all the time. There were a lot of things that were wrong about it. People were subservient to other peoples, and they did not have a, a rights of their own in, in many ways. And this has all changed. It has changed due to reformers, due to philosophers, philosophers, activists, entrepreneurs, and uh, people who, who have done what they can, have stood up for themselves, or stood up for others, and done what they have been able to advance the course of humanity. And in nearly every case of people who did this, they came from France, they came from the British Isles, including Ireland, like Scotland, the Wales, England. They came from the USA, they came from Canada and Switzerland, they came from the, the countries of Scandinavia, uh, the Netherlands and the related areas. All of these areas are those in which we find significant elements to the Lost in Tribes to have settled. So you may say that Lost in Tribes have been those who have been responsible for this advancement, and also the Jews also have contributed. The Jews too are part of the ten tribes of Israel, are part of the twelve tribes of Israel. They supplement the ten tribes. The, the Jews, the Jewish, the tribes amongst the Jews, together with the ten tribes, together make up the twelve tribes, the whole family of Israel. The whole Hebrew nation is, is that. Judah and Joseph, Judah and the ten tribes. And overall, we can say that, that this is what has been done. There's been a lot, a lot of things have been done that were also negative. And even now, the Western nations, are, in many ways, have a negative influence, and the negative influence is growing. In the past, they would be for morality, against homosexuality, now they are for it. They're, they're in some cases, they're trying to impose or to pressure nations to allow homosexuality, which is a perversion, which is something which is evil, which God does not want. And there are other areas in which we are fallen down and we are in, uh, encouraging depravity, instead of goodness, but uh, nevertheless the positive balance on the whole is that, it is positive. And things have been achieved. Uh, for, for instance of what has been achieved, we may remember 1989 in what is called Tai Tiananmen Square in China. There were protests by students, these protests were brutally, were brutally suppressed, they were put down with the violence by the government and um, nevertheless they uh, didn't have a didn't make an impression that their influence may a dying bear fruit they may they may a dying see something from this uh, what is significant about it is that the protesters had set up a makeshift copy of the American Statue of Liberty which they used in their demonstrations in other words, they attributed their wish, their will, for better, more humane conditions and for a more humane attitude on the part of the authorities. They attributed to values derived from America or transmitted by the USA. And this is true. This is what the USA has done and what uh, all other nations related to the peoples of the USA have also been able to do. And uh, this is what has been done, and this is a, this is a, this shows, this proves our case. This proves that these peoples have done what they were supposed to do. Uh, lately, there has been a tendency for this ability to be misused, uh, whereas in the past they usually used their influence, their economic clout, their their political influence, their their military power and uh, everything they had in a, positive, in a positive direction. Now they are doing it in a negative direction and they are liable, God forbid, to be punished for this. Uh, also not long ago we see this, we, we can see, th see this with the, with the present day state of Israel, the Jewish state of Israel. When the state was set up, it was helped by, by the USA, it was helped by France, uh, the UK, the Britain had helped uh, it before its establishment, Britain had been uh, uh, instrumental in bringing it into being, uh, and so on. And now, now a trend has started whereby, due to uh, left-wing ideologies and also the influence of Arab petrol dollars and so on, the, the pressure is being brought, brought against the Jewish people, against the Israeli government, on behalf of the so-called Palestinians, and Israel is being pressured to give up, to uh, to uh, give in, to uh, 
to the Palestinians for the sake of peace, for the sake of the so-called peace. And in effect, Israel is being requested to go through suicidal uh, procedures that can only harm her. Also, quizzling elements within Israeli society, homosexuals, left-wing elements and so on, are receiving money and support from these outside influences. And uh, they are working to undermine Jewish society. And this is not what God wants. God wants the Jewish people to be strong. God wants the Jewish people to live in the land of Israel. And uh, they are there. They are there because the one providence wants them to be there. And they are also there to prepare the way for the ten tribes when the ten tribes eventually return. And so it, is, it should be in the interest of the descendants of those ten tribes to support the state of Israel and do what they can to help the Jewish element, the Jewish being in the state of Israel, to help it thrive and survive and not the opposite. And, and this is what this is what we have to uh, take into consideration. We are reaching the end times. The end times are important, and uh, we are all liable to be judged according to the end results. And we should uh, strive that the end results be as good and positive, and as beneficial to the Israelite peoples and to all of humanity uh, to, as as they possibly can be. May the Lord God of Israel bless all of you. Thank you.